Greetings everyone, welcome back to Down in Dreams. Lale in the um Priestess Aisha. It is Priestess Aisha, Priest of the African River Eagle, aka Ms. Z on this channel. If you're new, please make sure that you like and subscribe. Um, comment down below. Um, if you would like to book a reading with me, please go to downindreams.com. That link will be in the description box. You can also, if you know this video resonates with you and you would love to give a donation, any amount, doesn't matter what it is, you can do that um, in the description below. My cash app will be there as well. Anything is appreciated. It. All right, so um, I guess you guys are surprised to see me because I don't come on camera often, and it is somewhat of a special occasion. So um, last night or early morning, around 3 a.m., um, the Mockingbird was singing, and it was singing such a beautiful song. Um, it's a very—I don't want to say it's a rare sight, but you know. Um, it's very rare that it's in your yard and things of that nature and singing so consistently. That was the first time I've seen it like that. Um, I have seen them singing at night before, but anyway, um, as a priestess and specifically a bird priestess, someone who can translate messages from the animals, um, and as they relate back to us in this world, in this realm, uh, because they translate messages to us from the creator. Um, as a bird priestess, it was, um, it was almost like I needed to listen, but also I needed to receive messages because it, it happened at a very special time. We are about to go into the full moon. This is um, a flower moon, a uh, full moon, flower moon. That's what they're calling it. Um, it's a full moon in Sagittarius, if I believe. I'm not the best at astrology. Um, I'm being initiated into the astronomy, so just bear with me. Um, but yes, this is something that I'm going to have to turn this air on, guys. So if you guys hear like a humming noise, that's what that is because it is hot up in here. So hold on one second. All right. Yeah, I hate to have like noises going on in the background, but you know, just relax. Okay. Um, so, you know, anyway, so this is going to be basically the omens and prophecies that come from um, the messages that I received last night uh, from the bird. And also just the whole, you know, dynamic of things with, you know, it almost being a full moon. And technically we feel the energies a little bit before and a little bit after. Um, also, um, there was something else. Um, the astronomy, the Big Dipper, what people call the Big Dipper, um, and the stars. Seeing that as well coming into alignment. So there were a lot of messages that I'm going to give to you guys This is the first time with me doing this. So um, if I do like this, I'm going to try to do it again Maybe next full moon and we'll see what the stars are looking like and what's going on because they definitely tell us a message Also keep in mind that um, I do upload prophecies and predictions on my Instagram and they can be verified So I don't just give revelations that are going to come 3,000 years later Typically when I give a vision if it does come true, I actually post it online so you can see for yourself and it's not a lot of times It's very specific. Okay, so let's move on. So uh, basically um, If you don't know about the mockingbird, these are this is information that I've gathered as a priestess um, The mockingbird is a person what well, I I treat my like people But it is an animal a bird that is the keeper of ancestral songs because uh, just like the name um, it mocks other birds, but in a spiritual sense, it is the um, it keeps the memory of the other birds. It keeps the memories of their songs. So um, there's a message in that too. And when it sings at night, when it sings at night, typically it's because it lost a lover, um, or it is um, looking for a new lover. Okay, or looking for a lover just in general. So that is a message as well. So give me just one second. All right, so let's deal with the biggest, the bigger omens first before I get to the specific ones. All right, so the big omen is that uh, we need to be, and I have notes here, so forgive me. Um, don't. Anyway, um, prepare for natural disasters, okay? Prepare for natural disasters such as specifically floods, all right? We should see or we're, we're likely to see a lot of floods coming from um, this prophecy, and I'm going to let you hear the bird and you can hear it calling and singing um, associated with the moon. But I also uh, was able to throw uh, my oracle on this. And the spirit that came, the spirit of nature that talked to me was basically saying that there's going to be floods that come from this um, as above, so below. But not just floods. It could be just natural disasters. So it could be natural disasters, um, a lot of things happening to the earth. Um, and keep in mind that nature doesn't look at us like we are special because we're children. 
um, because we've done such great things for the world sometimes you know but keep in mind that natural disasters they hit and hurt everybody you know it is like um the reconstruction of the world okay so when we've done too much damage to the world things have to be repaired things have to be restored and we are all her children you know um, great mother we are all the children of great mother from the ant that you step on to the spider that you smash um, to our children and to us we are all children even if you are a hundred years old you are still a child when it comes to nature so keep that in mind um, so be prepared for that and you may want to do prayers and protection over your homeland and the area that you are in um, because we again we'll see a lot of floods and we're going to see natural disasters come from this okay um, that was the sign from spirit because um, it, it was a symbol that we had offended nature so things will be restored okay so just be prepared for that mm. those who are in denial of things that are going to come um, your illusion will be broken. So keep that in mind. If you're under some illusion and that everything is good, everything is great, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you know, you're going to be woken up to some type of reality. This could be on a big scale uh, as far as like the natural disasters, and it could be on a personal level where if you've been in denial in your life about certain things that are going on, a lot of reality is going to start to hit you. Okay. Um, let's move on. Now, on a good note, healthy children will be born, okay? Healthy children will be born. This came out in the Oracle, and it is in alignment with the stars, um, you know, the Big Dipper, things growing. There's going to be a lot of growth in a lot of different areas for a lot of different people. Personal growth, you're going to see improvement with yourself, uh, with the things that you want to do. And again, during this time, I don't know for how long, I have to look into that, but for right now, I'm going to say <laughs> um, a lot of healthy children will be born from this moon to the next full moon, okay? From full moon to full moon, it's going to be a lot of healthy children. Um, so any of you who are having children, you know, this is a blessing. Moving forward, um, those of you, this is a personal thing, for those of you who are ending relationships or you ended a relationship uh, prior to this full moon, I would say... And get a reading if you want to know for sure, because it's complicated for a lot of people. But I will say that likely, likely you've already received signs from spirit that it is time to let that go. Okay, because the way that bird was singing, it was also singing like it had mourned the loss of a loved one. All right. So um, keep in mind that nine times out of ten, you know, whatever the situation may be, rather the spirits approve of you being with the person or not, like more than likely that cycle has ended or it was supposed to end. So if you are moving on, knowing that, hey, I know I need to get out of this relationship or I know that I need to leave this person alone. Stick with that. Stick with that because, you know, now is also the time where you will meet someone new or you will start getting yourself prepared for a new cycle in your life to meet someone new or just get yourself together, okay? But I just want to throw that out there, okay? I'm not guaranteeing anything for anybody, but I will say that um, if you had to let someone go through this cycle, and a loved one does not have to be just a romantic love. Let's say it's a, a friend that has did you wrong over and over again. Or, you know, um, someone that you value dearly, okay? Um, because omens and signs, they don't have to be taken so literally. When I see visions of things, typically that has to be taken literally. But when it's an omen, it can be still broken down in different places, all right? So, coming back down to the middle, all right? So, if you have someone that you have been in a relationship with, rather romantic or non-romantic, and it had to end... You are okay to leave that behind because you are supposed to be preparing yourself for the new, all right? Um, and you will find someone new, all right? You just have to be dedicated to it. If you are dedicated to finding somebody new in your life, you will. Um, let's see. And the mockingbird, I also want to say that the mockingbird is also a spirit that we can look at like, um, like, you know how, you know, they say someone's caught the Holy Ghost or they've caught the spirit. Um, it felt like that, like, because they speak the tongue of all birds or can, you know, they can mimic those birds. So it's like they're speaking the word of the creator to me. That's just my personal opinion. I'm trailing off. Let's go on. Um, let me see. Was there anything else that I need to touch on? Our emotions will be heavily affected. Um, 
you know, when it comes to this change. So just be uh, aware of that because the omen largely deals with the moon and water, moon and water. So the moon affects our emotions and the water, it affects the, excuse me, the moon affects the water in us, which in turn affects our emotions. And of course that's a given with the full moon, but because it was a whole symbol, it's going to last um, longer than just uh, the few days of the full moon, all right? So we're gonna be heavily in our emotions and it's going to be due to certain drastic changes that need to come. So it's not just natural disasters, it could even be a natural disaster in your personal life where everything is just kind of swept clean, um, you know, in order for you to rebuild on something more solid, okay? And I like this type of energy or this type of spirit Again, it does not, um, how do I explain that? It's not a spirit that shows, I want to say it doesn't show mercy, but keep in mind we're using English language, so a lot of things sound a lot harsher than what it really is. Um, so it's like, you know, if you need a certain level of change to happen, however that has to happen, it's going to happen. Keep that in mind. Whether you like the way it happened or you didn't like it, it's going to happen. All right? So it's kind of like that. It's not a good or bad. Um, it's just the way that you perceive it. So you could be, you know, crying out saying, I love this person so much. Why is this happening to me? Why is all this stuff going on? And it's not, you know, no so much as that, like somebody's picking on you. It is the energy that's going to go into everything and everyone, all right? So it's drastic change, but it's going to bring positive results. And also, um, like I said, on a positive note, a lot of things coming from this will start out healthy. So if there's been disease, there's been um, a lot of you know negative things, it's going to wipe all that out. It's going to do it in a way that might be harsh, but once you start over again, once you start this new cycle, Everything will be healthy. Everything will be anew. Sometimes you got to wipe out the whole foundation in order to start again because it's already been infected. So um, just keep that in mind. All right. Just keep that in mind. Just go with the change. Um, I don't really know a better way to say that. It's like the energy of a breakthrough. That's probably what I want to compare it to an energy of a breakthrough. A breakthrough is not always easy. It's not easy to push through the grass or push through the dirt to, you know, you know, come into that flower. But, you know, it has to be done, you know, in order for you to get to the next level. So keep that in mind. In your life, uh, we're going to see a lot of drastic change, but it's going to be so things can grow. Things can be positive. Uh, and also uh, the spirit, excuse me, the spirit of nature is going to wipe out a lot of things in order for things to get back right. Um, so we'll see those changes within nature. I think that's pretty much it with the signs and omens. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video that I recorded of the mockingbird singing. Um, the bird, it has been scientifically proven to, uh, what was it? It was scientifically proven to like um, help us, like our mental health and things like that. I forgot exactly what they said, but it's a very calming effect. And um, the bird's the bird's song is its medicine, so it's very beautiful for me to hear the mockingbird. But all right, peace.